good morning I am getting my electrolytes ready I've been getting some questions lately about which electrolytes I use so I wanted to show you the ones that I really like and all the ones that I have so these are my two favorite well I haven't tried any other flavors of perfect keto but these are my favorite electrolytes in general right now so this is the new ones from perfect keto so I have black cherry and watermelon I think they have a couple other flavors but these are absolutely amazing. I feel great when I drink them. Other options, I have the Ultima ones. I'm not a huge fan of these, but they do the job. I'm just not a huge fan of the flavors, but I have a couple of the like sample packs. And you can buy these on the Ultima ones on Amazon. I'm not sure about the Perfect Keto, but I do have a link down below that'll save you like 15%. And then of course we have Zip Fizz. Zip Fizz tastes amazing. I love them so that's another option um, this black cherry is my favorite that's why I have so many of them because I do buy them off of Amazon one of my other favorite flavors is the grapefruit it is so good um, but ever since I discovered the perfect keto ones I just don't drink the zip fizz as much but that is probably my number two favorite so number one number two I'll drink them if I have to good morning I want to do a quick hello and good morning uh, my coffee is the I'll pop it up here. Cookie dough, skinny syrup, the coconut macaroon nut pods mixed with the caramel nut pods. A lot of mixtures today. And that's delightful. Okay, it's time to get to work. It's going to be a busy day today. It's going to be a busy week. I am ready for it. I got a lot of sleep last night. I feel very good. I finished a book. I'm going to start a new one and I got my book review video edited. It's getting ready to go up on Saturday. I'm so ahead of the game right now. I still did not do my planner this week. I feel off though, I'm like not doing my planner. So definitely gonna do my planner this weekend. Hey guys, so last I talked to you, when was that? That was first thing this morning. <laughs> I have had some breakfast since then. So I did do uh, avocado egg toast. So I poached up two eggs, had a quarter of avocado. I will post a picture up here and I had some yogurt. I think I will still have a smoothie later on just for um, um, like a snack or something because I do want to get my protein in. That's the only thing I'm just, I feel like I'm doing really well lately because of all the protein I've been getting in and I'm not feeling hungry or anything. So it's been fabulous. So I want to make sure I get my protein, but I thought I would open up Keto Crate in this video. So here is the Keto Crate. As always, I have not looked at it. So I'm just going to do a quick run through and then as I have done throughout the week, this week and next week, I will let you know what I think of the, the products, these particular products, but I have no idea what's in here. I'm also drinking some tea. So that's the only other thing I've had. I am going to be making some lunch here in a little bit. I think I'm just gonna do a snack plate. I, this just sounds really good to me. So I will show you, share with you guys what I end up doing for that. Um, but this is, so March. In our little booklet here, as usual, they just talk, it has success stories, it has um, information about um, how to sign up, members only stuff, and then there's always a couple of recipes. The recipes this month is, let's see, St. Patty's Day Lime Bars. Ooh, that sounds good, really good. Okay, let's dive in. You guys know this is my favorite, favorite subscription box, favorite by far. Um, if you wanna save 25%, you can use my link. Um, I believe it's just keto or there's a link down below. So check that out and definitely check it out. What's really nice about it, just what I love about Keto Great is it always has pretty well-known products, but there's also some ones I've never heard of thrown in here. But it's so nice because you just, you get to try it without actually purchasing like a whole box of them. Cause you guys know like keto products are expensive and that's why it's so nice to be able to just try one and not buy a whole box and if you're like me you live in an area they don't carry these products so you do have to buy a whole box like from amazon or on the websites to even you know get to try them so that's why i love this box and you can just order one box and then cancel your subscription it's not like you are tied to it a certain amount or anything first thing um i've never heard of this this is from keto wise have you all heard about them um, chocolate pecan clusters, it says MCT oils, maltitol free, which is amazing because maltitol and my stomach do not get along. Um, these are fat bombs. So we're 130 calories, 11 grams of fat, um, one net carb. Let me grab my glasses so I can read everything on here. Um, so it is 
16 total carbs, 12 fiber, three erythritol. Um, we have a caramel layer. So the ingredients, we have the caramel layer. It has milk protein concentrate, non-fat dry milk, salted butter. It does have carrageenan in it, which I know some people stay away from, and it does have sucralose in it, which I know some people stay away from. Those kind of things don't bother me, but I know it does other people. It also has stevia in it too. So I've never heard of this company, Keto Wise. We'll definitely be trying this in the next couple of weeks, I'm sure. I've never heard of this one either. Uh, Keto Logic. It says fuel your best. Oh, fuel your best. I like that. Um, one net carb, no artificial sweeteners, non-GMO, vegan. This says keto indulged dark chocolate candy hazelnut. So me and hazelnuts. I should like hazelnuts. They actually come from Oregon. <laughs> There's a lot of them here, but I just don't. Like I love hazelnut flavor. I just don't like the actual nut. But if it's chocolate, I should probably like it okay. You know, if it's covered in chocolate. Okay, in this package, we have four servings, so two squares. Let's see if I can see what how big the squares are so we can, oh, okay. Oh, that's not bad. Uh, so two, oh, there's two little squares inside of here. Okay, so it's one of these packages is a serving. Still is not bad. Um, 11 total fat, um, total carbs, 11, six fiber, four sugar alcohol. So one net carb, two protein. One net carb for this whole package. That's not bad at all, not at all. I never heard of that company. Let me know what you guys think. If you have tried any of these products or any of these companies, let us know down in the comment section so we all can kind of read about them um, because it's nice. It's always fun to find new products. Okay, I have had these before and if I remember right, I did not like them. I did not get one. This is the first time I've seen this in Keto Crate, at least since I've been doing Keto Crate. Um, they have these at my local Fred Meyer store and I've not tried the banana nut. I believe it was some sort of berry one or something. Uh, but these are a plant-based protein. Uh, one gram of sugar, three net carbs. It's a good size bar for three net carbs. Uh, what do we got here? So it has lion's mane in it, which is a superfood. MCTs, omega-3s, which is fabulous. Uh, flavonoids, which are really good. Vitamin E, clonine. Oh, it has some really great, great things in here. Um, no sugar alcohols. as uh, a complete protein. So it has allulose, which isn't that a sugar alcohol? I don't know. So that's how we come up with three net carbs because it has five grams of allulose, six grams of fiber, so it's 14 total carbs. Uh, protein, 12 grams, Ooh, that's a good protein. We'll give it a try, it has pea protein, which I like pea protein. We'll give this one a try. I just remember not liking the last one that I had. From another new company to me, Keto Crisp. I feel like maybe I've heard of Keto Crisp, but I have never tried anything. Um, this is almond butter. This bar is four net carbs, 10 grams of protein, two grams of sugar, 10 grams of fiber, MCT. Um, let's see, sorry, I have to put my readers on. Um, almond butter, move over peanut butter. We married the flavor of creamy roasted California almonds with the texture of a rice crispy treat. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, we have 220 calories. This whole bar is a serving, it's a nice size bar. 18 fat, 18 total carbs, 10 fiber, two sugar. So it has one added sugar. So that keep that in mind, four sugar alcohol. So some people don't like the added sugar. Um, has erythritol, cocoa butter, has good ingredients. I don't even see sugar as one of the ingredients. It must be in the, I'm assuming must be in with the chocolate or something. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um, I love the sound of a crispy bar though. So I'll definitely be checking this out. And I love almond butter. Uh, here we go, Jimmy bars. These are kind of melted. Um, it was kind of warm yesterday when this came in. Um, I am not a fan of Jimmy protein bars, but and I have had this one before. This is a macadamia nut. I'll try it again because honestly, like I remember not liking the too good, not too good, too good fats love good fats bars um except for the crispy ones i like the like the nutty chewy ones but i tried that peanut butter one we got in last month's keto crate and i loved it and somebody said they redid the formula so you never know you never know you may just have to try them again um these bars 210 calories 15 total carbs 11 fiber um two total sugars but zero added sugars nine protein so four net carbs so check it out i know a lot of people do like the jimmy bars though I love these. So I first was introduced to the Super Seeds 
uh, brand from a grocery outlet. I found a big pack of these somewhat spicy, the same ones. These are um, pumpkin seeds and they are eight grams of protein. This whole bag, 150 calories and four total carbs, two fiber. Pumpkin seeds are such a good snack. They're so good for you. They have a lot of vitamins in them. Um, but, and they have, no, these are no shells. So I, yeah, I, I bought a big bag of these from Grocery Outlet. I loved them, loved them. They have different flavors too. I've seen different flavors. So yeah, these, I highly recommend them. They're super seeds. I've had these before too, not this flavor though. This is from um, High Low Life. This is called Pizza Pizza, but I have had these before. I enjoyed them. Uh, this is has crispy mozzarella cheese and walnut snack mix. But yeah, these are super good. This is four net carbs. I remember the other ones I had were lower carbs. I, pop, I think that one of them we had was, was it like a ranch flavored or something? So it's six total carbs, two fiber, 10 protein. 250 calories in this little pack. Oh, the nuts. You know, nuts have a lot of calories. But yeah, I do really like these. And we have the cookie department. So I felt really bad when I mentioned when we got when we got the birthday cake twice in the keto crate. The very first keto crate I had, which was almost a year ago now, I had a cookie department birthday cake cookie in it, and I did not enjoy it at all. We got one in like about three months ago in Keto Crate and I did not try it for the longest time because I even said in that video, I was not a fan of them. They were so, so sweet and commented on that video saying they sorry I didn't like that particular one. They hoped I would like other ones. So I ended up trying it again and they did change their formula, which I did not know that they changed their whole formula and it was so good. So I, yeah, it even says in here, improved texture. That was what I did not like about it. So I have a feeling I will really like this one. This is mint condition. You guys know my love for chocolate mint. Uh, so this has, um, I don't know what this means, three to one keto friendly. I don't know what that means. No artificial ingredients, macro friendly, non-GMO, low glycemic. We have 240 calories, 22 total carbs, seven fiber, 12 sugar alcohols. What are the sugar alcohols? Milk fruit. So we have monk fruit sweetener in here, which is just erythritol monk fruit blend, kind of like the Lakanto. Um, blanched almond flour, whole eggs. These have, it's really clean, really clean ingredients. Um, it does have xanthan gum. I know some people are, are sensitive to xanthan gum. So I just want to tell you that, that when I, the reformulation definitely was really good. So just so I want to let you guys all know that. Oh, you know that I love these, the Monk Pack, and this one I actually recently picked up for my local grocery store. This is a coconut almond dark chocolate, which is my favorite. So these are excellent, and I can find these on sale at my one of my local grocery stores, usually for like, they sometimes I have them like three for three dollars, two for three dollars. They are three net carbs. These are such a good snack. They remind me of like a chewy granola bar, and it's so good. Really, like I used to eat granola bars a lot pre-keto, and these definitely help satisfy that if I want a granola bar. I think we've had these before. Um, I think even the same flavor. Um, Bunker Hill cheese. These are the crunchy cheese crisps, and these are good. I have told you I have had like, it's hard for me to find a cheese crisp that I like. Um, Moon cheese, I'm just, I'm kind of on the fence about. Like I feel like the new ones are a little bit better than the older ones. I feel like everything that's been reformulated, they're doing a lot better with the formulation. I don't know if just people are starting to know how to work with keto ingredients a little bit better. But this brick oven pizza flavor is so good, so good. And we always have a meat stick, which I love because you guys know I love meat sticks. Never have one from this brand. This is Big Pork Craft Pork Stick Original. Uh, so it's pork, I'm assuming. <laughs> yes, pork water, it does have sugar in it, just so you know. Full disclosure has sugar. Um, it is the smallest writing, even with my glasses. Um, total carb zero, but it has it does have sugar. So, so in case you wanna stay away from that. Ooh, we had something from this um, back, I think around the holidays from the same company, Ross Chocolates, but it was it was something else. It wasn't these little minis, it was something else. Oh my gosh, this is milk chocolate flavored thins with lemon coconut. Doesn't that sound good? I think it was just plain chocolate, which I had, this chocolate was, it was good. Um, no sugar added, not a low calorie food, first sugar calorie, total fat, versus in the back, okay. So 
And the serving size is five pieces, which they feel like that's really good size pieces. Um, 140 calories for five pieces, total fats 11, total carbs 13, dietary fiber is six, and then we have four sugar alcohols. They don't do the math for you, no moths at all. So 13 minus six is seven, minus four is three. Three net carbs for five pieces. There's no added sugar, it just has erythritol. They have whey protein in it, so it's four grams of protein. Sounds good, I really like the idea of the lemon coconut. And the last thing, I've never heard of this either. I am gonna open this up and try these because I have been craving crackers. This is from We Do Keto, Keto Everything Crackers. And you guys know my love for the Fat Snacks crackers, those are amazing, which I would keep, keep forgetting to order some. Um, so we're gonna try these. One net carb for, there's five servings in this bag, which that's not a lot of crackers. The good fat ones, it's like the whole bag is like two servings. So um, that's not a lot. So it's three total carbs, two fiber, and three protein. Let's just go ahead and try this. So here's the size of them. They look completely different than the, and the Fat Snacks has everything. Um, the everything crackers also. Some are bigger than others, see? Not bad. The fat snacks are much better. Much, much better. Ingredients, almond flour, flax seeds, white sesame seeds, garlic, onion, pink salt, black sesame seeds, poppy seeds, and rosemary. Super clean ingredients. But they're not bad. I mean, I'll eat them. The fat snacks are better, just so you know. And that's everything. Again, another fantastic Keto Crate box. I love Keto Crate so much. So if you have not tried it, I just recommend trying one. Just try it once and just see what you think. They've been selling out super fast, but they did say they still have plenty for March. They sold out in February, like the beginning of the, the first week of February, they sold out. But they said they had, they sent me an email and said they do have plenty of March. So there you go. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna go make some lunch. Like I said, I'm gonna do a snack plate. I think I'm gonna do some mozzarella cheese balls, like the stuff that's in like that basil like salad, and some pepperoni, and a couple hard boiled eggs, and whatever else I can scrape up. So I will share that with you um, as soon as I have it.